So I just want to talk through something with you today, which if used properly can literally be the best diet out there. And it is so simple. All it is, is incorporating mindfulness into your eating habits and eating more mindfully. Because we're not grazers. We're not here to just consume food. We are, we should eat to survive. And if we do that, the food that we eat, we will savor and it will taste a lot better and you won't need as much of it. And every, and, and as well, you won't eat rubbish food because the, the food that you do eat, you will want to be the best food. So I'm gonna do a little example with you now. I've got a bowl of olives and olives are like my all time favorite. I, I love olives. So I could just graze on them. I could eat them and keep eating them. And that's, you know, what I would do. So say I'd be watching the telly, we'd eat an olive and already you've got another olive in your hand. Before I finish this olive, I'm putting the next olive in my mouth. So now I've got two olives in my mouth. I can't remember what the first olive even tastes like. And literally, get through those two, bang, I'll be getting a third one in. Now that is a vicious cycle of eating to get through the bowl of food. But you're not eating to eat an olive. Say there was one olive in there. I would probably enjoy that olive more than the first one I had. Just because I knew that it would be my last one. But literally, if you've ploughed through the olives just to get to the last one, just to enjoy it the most, and lit all of the olives before them were wasted. So, just try this. You've got a bowl of olives, pick up an olive. Like, look at it. Look at what you're eating. Like, give it your time. And smell it, if you want, a little bit. Just rest it in your mouth. And before you chew it, just get a sense of the senses what your tongue's doing before you chew it. Now how excited your body is to have this olive in its mouth. Mm. And just chew it lightly. Think about this olive. Think about what it's doing to your mouth. The juices that are coming out of it. Don't think about the next olive. Because the moment you think about the next olive is the moment you lose. So you finished that first olive, enjoy it, let it digest, go, let it go down, and then look at your body and ask if you need another olive. And you probably will. Yes, have another olive. You can have another olive. But this process takes so much longer that by the time you've eaten two of the olives, your body has time to properly digest it your brain has time to break down how much it enjoyed the food. And you might only need three olives as opposed to 15 olives. Mm. Savour. Food deserves our attention. And if we give it our attention, we can become the controller of the food because food controls so many people. Everything you tell yourself about how you don't need that next piece of food, it goes out of the window and you will automatically grab food and stuff it in your mouth. But if you take a step back and use your mindfulness and eat mindfully, then you can become the sole creator of your own diet. Because no one is force feeding you. You are the only person who's putting food in your mouth. So enjoy it. Enjoy you, everything you put in your mouth. And don't just put things in there for the sake of it. So I'm gonna have one more olive. 
Mm. It's hard doing a video while truly enjoying the food. But so many flavours do get lost. Lost in the the event of eating. But just settle yourself down and eat and savour. And the amount of more flavours that you will taste is quite extraordinary. For instance, drinking a coffee. Coffee, in our minds, we just think we know what coffee tastes like. But next time you drink the coffee, break it down. Fill the, the burnt notes, the chocolatey notes, the beans that are in there, the sweet, the bitter. It's not just coffee. There's so much going on in a coffee taste-wise. Try and pick out the tastes individually. And then you can start sussing out which coffees you actually like. It's a very fun thing to do, it's a very healthy thing to do, and it's very practical. If you want a healthy living diet, if you want to enjoy your food more, go out to a restaurant and savour every single part of it. Food is fun, food is beautiful, it deserves our attention, it deserves our respect, and we, our bodies, our minds, deserve the respect too. So you don't have to listen to your body. You might be crying out, saying, eat, eat, eat. Because that is the natural survival instinct to make yourself fat, to eat because in the wild, you would be worried about when you're gonna get your next meal. I'm sorry, we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is a complete privilege and it's not the same for everyone in the world. So respect that. Eat what you need and enjoy it more than anything because it is one of the best things that we can do to savor it but anyway thank you so much for watching this video sorry if it's been a little bit of a lecture please try it like, i'd love to hear how you get on with it if it has changed the way you taste food or the way you savor food and subscribe to my channel on youtube and I shall be back very soon with some more videos. But you take care, be mindful, be happy. See you soon.